This segment is sponsored by Our Home Magazine. Thoughtfully placed lighting can make any space feel more magical. Joining us now is Todd Peace of Inarray Design Group. His work is featured in the latest issue of Our Home Magazine. Good morning, Todd. Thanks so much for being with us. Good morning, Evan. How are you? Doing great. Excited to talk about this. And I know that working to create beautiful spaces is something that you've been doing for a long time. Let's talk about your background. I, I grew up in a family-owned business that was a, started as a garden center and uh, was a landscape company. And I think I was around eight or nine when that started. Grew up in that and uh, went to school for it, went to NC State, got a degree in landscape horticulture design and came back and, you know, worked in the family business until early 30s until I realized that plants were probably not what I wanted to do the rest of the rest of my life. Uh, but the outdoor spaces were intriguing. So the, the main thing that I really pulled from that was how to design a space, how to make it feel a certain way. And we had done a little bit of lighting, um, you know, right there at the end. And that really fascinated me. There was something about the technological um, uh, aspect of it. There was something about, had kind of a magical quality, had the, had the ability to transform what a space felt like at night. And that was really interesting to me. So now you have Inarray Design Group. Tell us what it is that you, that you do. Um, well, we started as an outdoor lighting company, and we have grown um, organically over the years. You know, outdoor lighting, uh, the, the, the next thing that, that we went into was lighting controls because there were a lot of lights that were on the house that we were trying to incorporate into our scenes that, you know, were, you know, they're not really part of the scene. We weren't controlling very well. So we started looking at lighting control systems and started incorporating the lights that were the light that's coming out the bay window that's contributing to the scene and the sconces that are on the house. We wanted to bring them in and be able to make them you know, unified in that scene. So the lighting control systems were next and that really kind of opened the door to a lot of the other pieces of technology, especially the music side of things. Lights and music tend to go together. Um, you, you know, you go to a nice restaurant, there's dim lights, jazz music, you go to a concert, loud music, bright lights. So lights and music really set the scene a lot. Uh, so it was a natural fit for us. And then, you know, the control systems, the ways that you interact with things, today's technology, you can, you can change pretty much anything you want. So that's really kind of where we've settled our space um, because those are the things that, you know, make the mood. It makes the, the dynamic of an evening. I mean, most people, I think when they call us, they have something in mind. You know, you know the, the world is crazy and work is hard and all that kind of stuff. But when you come home, you have this image of like, I want to get a glass of wine walk out on the patio and relax. So that that sense right there is what, what their call is for. Absolutely, and I feel like it's one of those things that maybe you don't notice right away that that's what it is that's setting the tone, but just yeah. having it can have such a huge impact on how an environment and a space really feel and make you feel. Yeah, absolutely. And it's it's interesting that you can take the same elements that are there during the day and you can light them differently. You can backlight some or front light some or choose you know, the, the effect of what you're doing and turn something that's relatively ordinary that you're used to seeing into something that's magical at night. What are some ways, so pe say someone has a blank slate, they're starting from yeah. scratch. What are some ways that we can sort of start incorporating this to, to make an impact? Sure, um, I will take backyards or patio spaces because that's kind of what you think about um, when you think about a space you want to go be in. So if you start to think about that like a room, like a room in your house, you know, it's a room in your house is made of ceiling, floor, and walls. Your outdoor room is going to be the same thing. So when, we, when we're looking at a lighting design, the first thing we look at is what's existing, because that's basically what we're accenting. You know, we can't light it if it's not there. So we're looking to recreate that room at night. And, you know, you, you might have one or two walls of the actual house to work with, but then you might have an evergreen screen that can be your third wall. Um, so we'll look to kind of, we'll wash those. We'll get some light on those and sort of create those, um, the boundaries around you. If you're fortunate enough to have maybe a large tree with some branches overhanging the patio, but you put some light on that, then you can get a sense of that ceiling. And then we try to get some light on the floor as well with some half lights or we have climbers where we go up in trees and hide small lights and duplicate like a full moon on the patio. So at the end of it, you can see the floor, you can feel the walls and the ceiling. Um, and then once we sort of recreated that room, we look around for anything that's in that space that's unique. 
something that we can maybe add a little magic to. Uh, we've got lights that we can hang in trees that have holes in them and kind of sparkle a little bit. Um, sometimes we'll incorporate holiday lighting. We'll, we'll, we'll incorporate some like little mini lights that you typically see on a Christmas tree. We'll wrap some of those in a few branches. Um, bistro lighting is very popular. The cafe lights, you know, string lights across the, the patio. So then we'll start looking at kind of layering in effects. Uh, and when you do that, you don't have to have any one particular light bright. Each one has its own role in its own little space. And then you can you can actually control the light more with more fixtures. That's probably one of the things that um, is an assumption when you go to light a space. It's like, well, I don't need too many lights because I don't want it too bright. The opposite is actually true most of the time. If you have a few more fixtures, then you can put lower wattage bulbs in them, get more of a scene where the overall light level is lower. So that's how many to options. Start. Yeah, yeah, a great place to start. So many options. And like you said, it can really transform a space and make it feel more magical. Todd Peace, in Array Design Group, we appreciate you being with us today. Thank you. We're going to share some more information for folks who are watching at home. Folks, you can find the latest issue of Our Home Magazine on newsstands today or subscribe at richmondmagazine.com slash home. You'll find them on Facebook at Our Home Magazine and on Instagram at Our Home Mag. And please stay tuned. Virginia This Morning will be right back.